Um, no, another hard, hard fault game. Uh, give uh, a tremendous amount of credit to, to High Point. Uh, you know, uh, what, what they did in this tournament, uh, you know, something to be very, very proud of, uh, same as I am about our kids. That, that, uh, it's a very good team. You know, they would, they, they would be a top of the pack team in our league uh, in a Sun Belt uh, with the athletes they have and the pitching they have. They're, they're, they're a whole lot better than uh, what people give them credit for. And uh, I, I tip my hat to the coaching staff and the players and, you know, what they've done to build that cro program to what it is in, in three short years. And, uh, you know, I thought, uh, thought uh, Oliver did a, an absolutely outstanding job, just throwing a ton of strikes, gave up, so gave up some hits, but scattered them around. And, uh, you know, outside of the one ball that left the park, uh, you know, he, he was outstanding, did exactly what we needed him to do today. And, uh, you know, from there, it, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it was hit and miss at, at the end of the day, to be honest. So, you know, we're, we're just, we're very fortunate. You know, Bodine got a big, Big home run for us to give us the lead, and then we hung on at the end. Any questions for Coach? Over two minutes? Yeah, right here. Uh, Dave Ackers, WMS Sports. Uh, Oliver, Coach Travis Smith, did all right. Um, trying to step up and do what you needed to do. Pitched a bunch of innings. You did, you did shut out there in the beginning. Um, just how you were feeling out there and how it went. Yeah, um, it, you know, it was a team effort at the end of the day. Um, I felt good going into the game. I trust all the boys behind me. I know they got my back. Um, my pitching coach, Beverly, did a great job calling pitches throughout the game. And of course, Bodine, you know, one, probably the best receiving catcher in the nation. Did a great job catching me on the plate. And job's just to throw strikes, execute pitches, and let the boys behind me do the work. Definitely, it was definitely an exciting game. Um, I knew the boy. I, I had no, um, let me find the words here. Uh, I had a lot. You don't ever shut up. I mean, you know, let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a lot of confidence in everyone that comes out of the pen. You know, sometimes you get unlucky. Sometimes um, stuff doesn't go your way. But the next guy that came in got their back. So I mean, our team has our back, and. Uh, Fought through the end. Uh, Brandon Young, AC 15. Uh, coach, going into this second game with Clemson, uh, you threw a lot of guys out there today, but not a lot of guys that saw extensive pitching counts and things along those lines. So does that set you up a little bit better going into tonight's game? <laughs> oh, well, to a better extent, I can say. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, some of them went to so many guys because uh, at the end of the day, they weren't work doing what we hoped they would do. So, uh, you know, maybe that uh, the next time around, it, it'll work out in our favor, you know, just, I mean, the guys that threw today in relief, Will, Magley, Castle, Carbone, Bowers, probably not Schaefer, but, you know, I mean, all, all those guys, uh, you know, if, if we need them, they, they're, they'll respond th tonight. You know, if we need to use them, and, you know, I, I, we're, we're gonna have to get some length out of a guy or two or whatever, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when when you get into this, it's um, one of those deals where I think you one of two things will happen: we'll either play with house money and play very very loose and play very aggressive and play very well, or we won't play very good at all. It's very seldom do you play in between. You know, you're either super good or you're not very good at all. And hopefully, we come out and I mean, again, at the end of the day, there's there's there, there's not one odds maker in the country to give us. They wouldn't even put an odd on us winning two games against Clemson at this point, okay? So at the end of the day, we're on house money and we go out there and have some fun and compete our behinds off and see what happens. All right, final question right here at the front. Uh, Jason Reese, Clemson Insider. Coach, any thoughts on you might run out there first tonight? Mm -mm. No, nah, to be very honest with you, nah, I mean, you know, we got two or three options. Uh, I mean, you know, we, <laughs> you know, we, we, I'm not thinking past that, that last pitch just a minute ago. So, you know, I, I'm going to get back to the hotel here in a minute and take a quick shower and kind of regroup. And, uh, you know, we got two or three guys that haven't been out there yet that, you know, I mean, those guys are going to have to, they're going to have to do the blunt of the work. So, which, which one we go with first, I honestly don't know. Cunningham's in the stands. Damn, is Beck with two? <laughs> well, then we we got a real chance. The odds makers might change their. Doesn't. <laughs>